Why is Archer teaming up with airlines instead of creating its own infrastructure? What problems are EVTUL companies dealing with that make working together a better choice? How could these partnerships change the way we get around in busy cities? By joining forces with established airlines, Archer isn't just avoiding challenges. It's paving the way for a new way to travel in crowded areas. Welcome to the channel. Urban air mobility isn't just a far-off dream anymore. It's becoming real. The EVTOL market is expected to explode, with estimates saying it could hit around $1.5 trillion by 2040. This growth is fueled by the need for better transportation in crowded cities, where regular ground travel can be slow and frustrating. The success of EV tolls isn't just about the aircraft, it also depends on the infrastructure that supports them, like vertiports and charging stations. Creating these vertiports involves big investments and dealing with complicated regulations, which can slow things down. Plus, many cities aren't really set up to handle new air mobility options, making it super important for Archer to partner with established airlines. By using the existing networks and facilities of airlines, Archer can get into the market faster, ensuring its innovative aircraft can take to the skies without the long delays tied to building new infrastructure. Archer is making some big moves by teaming up with major airlines, especially United Airlines. Back in August 2022, United ordered 100 Midnight Aircraft and put down a $10 million deposit, making the total deal worth over $1 billion. This partnership gives Archer a nice financial boost and helps it blend its eVTOL services into United's current operations. Plus, there's an option for United to buy another 100 aircraft, which could double the order. Archer isn't stopping there. They're also chatting with other airlines, like Southwest Airlines, to see what kind of collaborations they can come up with. These partnerships are super important for Archer to get a solid foothold in the competitive UAM market, letting them tap into the airline's established networks and customer bases. Working with airlines brings a lot of perks beyond just money. Airlines already have the facilities, know-how, and regulatory approvals, which can save Archer a ton of time and effort that would go into building its own setup. By partnering up, Archer can use existing airport facilities that are already good to go, cutting down on those initial costs. Plus, by sharing expertise in customer service and operations, Archer can focus on what it does best, designing and making advanced EV tall aircraft, while letting its airline partners handle the tricky parts of airport operations. This teamwork boosts efficiency and speeds up the rollout of EV tall services, giving consumers more convenient travel options in the end. Building in-house infrastructure comes with some serious financial challenges. For a startup like Archer, putting resources into infrastructure could slow down its ability to innovate and produce aircraft on a larger scale. For example, estimates show that creating a network of 10 vertiports in a major city could cost over $50 million when you consider land acquisition, construction, and regulatory approvals. On the flip side, partnering with airlines lets Archer share these costs. Dealing with regulations is another big challenge for EV tall companies. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA, has strict certification processes for new aircraft and infrastructure, which can really slow things down. For instance, getting through the FAA's Part 135 certification process for commercial operations can take several years, with tough safety and operational standards to meet. By teaming up with established airlines, Archer can benefit from their existing FAA-compliant operations, making the regulatory process easier. A good example is when the FAA awarded Archer Air, a subsidiary of Archer Aviation, a Part 135 certificate on June 5, 2024. This certification lets Archer Air operate as a commercial air carrier in the U.S., which is a huge milestone that would have been a lot tougher to reach without the help of airline partners. This collaboration not only speeds up the certification process, but also boosts Archer's credibility with regulators and consumers. Bringing EV tolls like Midnight into existing airline systems is a cool chance for innovation. 
Archer's Midnight is built to work smoothly in urban areas, flying distances of up to 100 miles and carrying over 1,000 pounds. It cruises at a speed of 130 knots or around 150 miles per hour and has a high-tech battery system that lets it fly for about 20 to 30 minutes per charge. By teaming up with airlines, Archer can create a smooth travel experience for customers. For instance, travelers could book a flight from Manhattan to New York JFK or Newark airports, with the EV Toll taking care of the last part of their trip. This setup not only makes things more convenient for passengers, but also helps airlines tap into new revenue streams, making the partnership a win-win. At the core of Archer's strategy is technological innovation. The Midnight EV Toll runs on 12 electric engines and six independent lithium-ion battery packs, using six propellers that also work as rotor blades during vertical flight. Each battery pack has a capacity of 100 kilowatt hour, which means they can recharge quickly and extend the aircraft's range. This design boosts both propulsion and lift, making Midnight super efficient for city travel. Plus, partnerships with companies like Signature Aviation are helping push forward advancements in battery and charging tech. Signature's rapid recharging systems can provide up to 1 million watts of power, letting Archer's aircraft recharge in as little as 12 minutes between flights. This tech synergy not only enhances operational efficiency, but also fits perfectly with Archer's commitment to sustainability, as these EV tolls produce zero emissions and are quieter than traditional aircraft. In the fast-moving world of urban air mobility, getting to market quickly is super important. By teaming up with established airlines, Archer can roll out its services faster, giving it an edge over other EV tall makers. Using existing airline networks means Archer can launch its services way quicker than if it had to build everything from scratch. For example, Archer plans to kick off commercial operations in big cities like Los Angeles and Miami by 2025. By working with partners, they can make sure the necessary infrastructure is ready to go. This speedy rollout not only puts Archer in the spotlight as a leader in urban air mobility, but also boosts its visibility and brand recognition among customers. Archer's focus on making aircraft and innovating technology is key in a market that's changing fast. The company is pouring about $250 million into research and development over the next five years to improve its EV tall technology. This investment will help make advancements in aerodynamics, battery efficiency, and noise reduction, keeping Archer competitive in the UAM space. By letting airline partners handle infrastructure development, Archer can stay nimble and focus on what it does best. This smart strategy not only boosts innovation, but also helps Archer quickly adapt to market demands and what consumers want, ultimately driving growth and success in the UAM sector. The partnership between United Airlines and Archer Air is a great example of how working with airlines can improve operations and expand service options. Under their agreement, Archer Air will operate EV tolls for United, providing quick connections to major airports and city centers. This setup lets United offer a smooth travel experience, integrating EV toll flights into its current booking system. The benefits of this partnership are expected to be huge. Analysts think that adding Archer's EV tolls could cut travel times by up to 50% for short flights, greatly enhancing the overall customer experience. Plus, United's investment is looking promising, with expectations for a solid return over the next few years. Archer is also looking into a memorandum of understanding with Southwest Airlines to figure out how to bring EVTOL services into Southwest's existing network. This collaboration aims to improve connections between city centers and regional airports, giving passengers more travel options. The MOU includes plans to conduct feasibility studies in important markets like California and Texas, where urban congestion is a big issue. By 2026, Southwest expects that EVTL services could make a significant impact on its short-haul flights, helping solidify its position as a leader in innovative transportation solutions. What do you think? Are partnerships the key to success for Archer and the future of urban air mobility? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our related video titled The Real Reason United Invested in Archer Instead of Joby. Click here to watch it now.